FW. The best one last year when we had all that snow, I, I came to uh, came to my locker and someone had filled my gloves with with snow, just packed them full. Oh, so nice. I had to go to practice with cold gloves. So I, you know, I found out who it was and just loaded their helmet, shoes, shoulder pads, <laughs> everything was just freezing. I mean, it was like sat in an ice cooler all night. Oh. So they had to go out into a winter practice in our uh, facility, just oh. just just soaked wet. So. That's awesome. That too. is good. And, how, and, and does it stop there? It's usually like one that's done to you, and then you go back, and that's it. Or no. does it keep going? Oh no, it keeps going. Oh, I mean, I mean, one, you know, once, once first blood, and then it's just, it just goes back and forth. See that? I, you know, you got to know who you're messing with because if you really mess with somebody who's out of his mind, yeah. that, you can never win that particular. You, you never, war. you never went up against Grant because you know Grant didn't care. He just, he'd, he'd do anything. <laughs> what well, was one of his greatest hits? <laughs> Well, I mean, he, you know, it'd get to defecation with oh, Grant. What? Okay. Like, so, he's wow. insane, dude. Yeah, it was just kind of like. This is wrong. <laughs> I mean, he'd look, he look at you when you start, so I'm like, really? You, you want to go down this route? Really? You want to go here? <laughs> Oh my wow. God! Now, wow. who has who has a weird visual right now? Because yes. he left it pretty vague, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? Yeah. I'm thinking, never like leave your shoes on the tent. Oh no, 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 no! You took your helmet with you wherever the you helmet? went. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, Grant Wistrom, wow. you sick wow. son of a bitch! <laughs> Our next guest brought more excitement to Safeco Field in just seven weeks than Richie Sexton brought to us in three years. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Bucky Jacobson. Bucky! Yeah. What's up, Bucky? Good to have you in the house, Bucky. Thanks. Good beer. I'll tell you what, man. That was a, that was a fun summer. I have to say, man, it was a fun. I've seen your shirts everywhere at Safeco Field, and you know what? There's nothing. There's nothing like a big bopper slugger dude to really get at me where people go, man. Everybody loves that kind of guy, and man, you made it happen for us, bro. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Unfortunately. Uh didn't last quite as long as I would have liked, but <laughs> right. yeah. I guess, yeah. What yeah. happened, by the way? I think a lot of people know you got hurt and, and, and saw it all happen so fast, but can you just tell us what exactly went down? Um, I think the surgeon that worked on my knee cheated on the knee section in med school. Oh, oh really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. You know, here I thought it was just, you know, what I mean, unfortunate stuff. I had no idea it was possible that maybe a Glenn the Toolbox type surgeon was involved. Yeah, I uh, I doubt he's listening right now, so I don't mind saying it. Actually, even if he is listening, I don't care if he hears it. But, um, yeah, I mean, it um, it was kind of a big surgery, whatever. It was. I mean, it was, was something it? I played with for ACL? three years. It wasn't any ligament stuff. It was bone. Um, oh, man. I had a divot out of the bone. I ran into a tarp catching a foul ball. Back in Double uh, A, back in oh shoot, I think it was two thousand two. Was that San Antonio? No, it was when I was with the Brewers actually. Oh, okay. In Hunts, Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, oh you love Huntsville. Oh, you ran into a tarp so hard that it chipped your it. It took divoted a divot your bone? out of the bone. Yeah. Wow, wow dude. Oh. Like a yeah. rolled up tarp? Yeah. The, well, yeah. The, the metal thing that is rolled up on. I decided oh, to run into that part. Spool. You're yeah. chasing a foul ball because yeah. you were playing first, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, man, they, 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 you oh. know they stop keeping those out in the real ballparks, but when you're down in the minor leagues, they don't always have the great you know way yeah. to keep you guys out of harm's way like yeah, that. It's, it's it's just part of the game. I wish at this point I just would have let that foul ball drop, yeah. but um, you know it is what it is. That's why I played. So, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. It's just <clears throat> it's unfortunate that I that I ended up having to have the surgery right after I got up. You know, I mean, I, I didn't want to have it. I told them, let me, let, just let me play for a little while. You know, I mean, I'll deal with it. And they said, hey, got to get this thing fixed before, uh, before the season's over. That way you'll be ready for next season. And unfortunately, I, the surgery wasn't done altogether properly. Wow. So I had to Did you get have it done in, one. in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I think so. They put me to sleep. They might have sent me to Dominican or something. Yeah, at that point. Or to, to Thailand or but something I, like that. Yeah. I think that I did it here. At this point, why not send you to Thailand? It couldn't have gone any worse for you. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll do it. I'm ready. You ready? All right, I'll tell you what. The, uh, the we crowd. We have the crowd count, yeah. count it down. That's right. When you get, give us an on the mark, get set, go when I tell you to, crowd. Are you ready here at Elysian Fields? Are you ready, people? Yeah. 
right. Good go. All right, give it to Conta. Go ahead, folks. On your mark. Get set. You didn't hear it? You didn't hear him yelling bacon in your ear? Yeah. I yelled it three look times, at, Look at a smile on his face. Dude, you're yeah. all in. You, yeah. Have another shot. You're a jerk. Why do you got to hurt the kid like that? Oh, is, is it he the got cold? him a crack. Oh, you got him right in the hot corner. Ow. Oh. Yeah. That's a pickle. Wow. Ow. What's the official time, Steve? The official time is 10.2 seconds. Our winner is Derek. Oh. I I guess nine. That was only 10 seconds. It started going yeah. in the hot corner all right. All right, well, instead of me introducing our next guest, well, I brought my good buds, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, a kiss to introduce him. That's Fellas, right. take it away. You know, this is going to be a really exciting day, <laughs> and I can't wait to get my BJ today. Yeah! That's right. And I want to ask everybody in this room, on the count of three, yeah. who are we ready to see make a turnaround today? I want you to name it. One, two, three. That's right, KISS. <laughs> but we couldn't be here today, no. and so we sent our good friend, a man who not only started his career here at KISW, but he's the funniest guy I've ever met. Please welcome Mr. Craig Gass. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God, I love you! <laughs> wow! Oh my God, it's that maniacal laugh that's great for morning radio, but awful during a date rape! Oh! Oh! Oh my God, that's my sister! Oh! <laughs> yeah, oh, right, man. man Craig, 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 yeah. Craig, man, it's good to have you. And here's the thing about Craig Gass. <laughs> he is up here for one reason. He wants to see the Mariners. A huge Mariner yeah. fan. So give yes. it up right here. Oh, huge Mariner fan. Huge Seattle fan. Dude, it's it's not only that. Not only do I build my, uh, I tour all over the country every other week. Not only do I build my comedy shows schedule around the country to coincide with road games for the nice. Mariners and the Seahawks. Oh, nice. I actually am here today on a week that I was offered a tour of doing shows in Australia. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... I told them, they called me up and they said, uh, hey, uh, we, can, we can offer you a tour. It's my first international dates. And I was so excited until they said what day. They said, we want you to be here on the 14th of April. And I said, oh, I, I can't do the 14th. Then... And they go, really, why? And I lied to them and then... told them that I was, because I, I just got a job doing voices on Family Guy, the TV show Family oh, Guy. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, so I told them, I said, wow. uh, I go, oh, I'm recording with uh, Family Guy that week. And they go, Did okay, I... all right, well, then how about this? We'll get you into Sydney. We'll get you into Sydney on the 20th. And oh, I said, sure. it's got to be the 27th. Because I saw they're playing Tampa Bay. On the <laughs> hey, here's the deal. Three, two, one, interview from the show, the top show. Are you still on the line, Mickey? Oh, he hung up on me. Whoa, dude. Why did he, how, did, how about he hangs up on me? He called me and he hung up on me. I'm calling that bitch back. Hold on, there we go. Right now, Steve. See, you're calling Mickey the Finskold. Calling Charles Chenzoli. Whoa, hello? You better answer the phone, buddy. This is an important phone call from people that you know. Check it! Three! Oh, wow, it goes to voicemail. Wow. What a big timer he is. I'm leaving him a message right now. You show him his boss. I'm going to leave a message as his wife. Put him on notice. Here we go. I'm going to call him. He'll go right here. Here he comes, buddy. I'm recording it right now, honey. I'm going to hang up when I'm done recording it. I get it, honey. Hi, this is Yoko. Where are you? I have two kids at home. One's taking a discoli and the other dog's taking a shizeli. Where are you? All I do is wash dishes and stuff. I'm Yoko. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Go Mariners! Yeah. They won! I'd like to thank all the listeners that brought me beverages. There was never a time during the game that no. I did not have a cup of beer. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.